panes. And then we have to go over here and we've got to find the record button. Here it is. And now we are recording. And now we are live. I'm pretty sure we are live, Donna Grill. Hi! You excited? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for joining in, everyone. Yay! Okay, let's check Facebook. Hello, 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 Leanne. Hey, Rally, you got pipped at the post, babe. Leanne's gotcha. Oh, Susie Lewis, we are just chatting about you. We're just saying, you know, you girls who are in my body wisdom group, you all know Donna very well. Thank you for your support, ladies. Yeah, yes. And, you know, being part of the body wisdom group, you have, um, we do a reading with Donna. You've got some, um, I won't say Donna on tap, but pretty much, you know, <laughs> pretty, pretty much. And if you've been involved with my life or coming into clinic, you've seen oh, so many of my clients, so many of my clients as well. So I want to introduce Donna to you all. Look at everyone jumping on here. Hey, Anna. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Relly. Hey, Jenny. So, uh, Donna and I haven't been friends for five or so, five or so years. Yes, about five now, six. Ever since the, the day that we latched eyes onto each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's been love at first sight. And um, Donna is the person that I go to when, if I'm feeling a little bit lost, if I'm feeling heavy, if I'm feeling jittery, if I'm angry if I'm just not sure um not feeling yourself if I'm not feeling yet if I'm not feeling myself I'm lucky that I've got Donna around the corner but you girls are lucky because we've got zoom now and she is amazing over zoom and um I tell you when I walk out I am 10 foot taller you know I've I'm my strength is back my commitment like to myself is back and so now, oh, after five years, I'm ready to share my secret weapon with you. Okay, so um, how tonight is going to roll, right? How tonight is going to roll is we asked in the Body Wisdom group, what is something that um, the ladies really wanted to hear about? And what we've come up with is talking about your intuition, okay? how to tune into your intuition. So what is it? How do we actually do it? Because you know, in this group, we don't just give you little snippets, little teasers. We go straight to, come on girls, this is how you're going to do it. I want you to keep in mind, I want you to keep in mind that that will be the first half of the call. The second half, we are looking for three ladies, three of you who have not yet had a reading with Donna. I'm going to give you the Zoom link or Eunice. Eunice, I'm in my personal um, Zoom room or Joan, whoever's there holding my hand tonight. Um, if you could, we're going to have three ladies. So if three of you have got access to Zoom and want to come in and be on the screen with us because Donna is going to do an angel card reading for you, okay? For three three people all right so let me know if you haven't had a um a session with donna um yes type in so who have we got um michelle no you haven't you haven't okay so we will get um yes please yes please <laughs> standing out already yes <laughs> yes yes ness Gordio Trace, oh, look, everyone's coming in now. <laughs> look, I'm the sort of person I don't like anyone missing out. So. No, okay. <laughs> and But we do have a, a special offer uh, as well, and we're going to let you, we don't, you don't have to wait to the end. Um, we do have a really special offer. You can have a 30-minute session with Donna for $50. Um, you can have a 60-minute session with Donna for $100. And... The super thing is, is if you go onto her Facebook page, In Our Hands, so In Our Hands Facebook group, 
Um, what the special, the like, yes, it's amazing to have 30 minutes and an hour, like I have an hour and a half each time. Um, and then we swap over and I rub your boobies. <laughs> right. That's the way that we How roll. lucky are we? Seriously. Um, we are. And but then put away the date, Halloween. Halloween is Sunday, the 31st of October. Everybody who takes up this Donna's special offer, we're going to get you all into Zoom and we're going to do a group cord cutting. I nearly said, fuck them all off. <laughs> Just go on, go on. Ooh. Just as well you're not recording. Yes, we are recording. <laughs> um, okay, so... Everybody who does the 30-minute or the 60-minute offer, we're all coming together. We're having a, um, a sunset cut together on Halloween and Donna's going to cut away all of the things that you don't need to move forward anymore on um, Halloween all together, right? So go on to her page now in our hands. Send Donna a message on Messenger and she will book you in for your 30-minute or your 60-minute um, one-on-one. And then we'll do the group on the um, 31st. You will all get a healing on the 31st as well. Yeah. So as part of that um, cord cutting, healing will automatically be part of that. So no one will miss out. No one. Awesome. I haven't even been able to keep up with the comments um, coming through. All right. So oh, intuition. How do we tune in? Like, but when we say tune in, what even is it? Okay. What is it? What is intuition? What is intuition? So I'm handing the microphone over to you, my love. Thank you. And um, yeah, let's talk us through what is intuition. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for having me. And thank you, everyone, for joining in. It means a lot to me, honestly. I'm a very humble person. So, you know, for everyone to join in and listen to what I want to have to say, it means a lot to me, honestly. Now I can sum definite I can sum intuition up in one word. Peoples, one word. It starts with T and ends in T. Can anyone tell me what they think it might be? Tent. No. Oh. We are in boot camp, so it's not the other <laughs> food. <laughs> Tent. Tent. No. <laughs> trust. Trust. I can sum it up in one word, trust. Intuition is trust. Without it, you may as well leave the room the dictionary actually describes it as unexplained feelings you have that something is true even when you have no evidence or proof of it and how can you have evidence or proof of your gut it's in your gut mm. your mm. gut feelings are in there for a reason and every single one of us has been born with it from the day we were born, we all were given the intuition card. It's what we do with it that counts. Mm. So it's that feeling in your gut that you get when you instinctively know that something is right or wrong. So for me, doubt equals don't. Mm -hmm. When I want to do something or, you know, choose something for myself, if I'm like, mm, maybe, yes, no, Doubt, no. If I doubt something, it means don't do it. If I'm like, yes, I want that now or I want to do that now, I want to jump in, that is a definite yes. So that's mm. one way to understand it. Nick Tob, I see that you're watching. We have we have two words that um, for our yes. Type in what our what our words are for when when you know, like when you know that something is on, type in type in the words. <laughs> not that word <laughs> yeah so yet yeah, tuning in to that though because a lot of the time we we just we just lose touch yes yeah look simply it's it, if it feels right it's right if it feels wrong it's wrong it's a subtle knowing without even understanding what it is there is no evidence and and you have no idea why you know it it's called a knowing as well mm -hmm. and I've had that from the day I was born and have always stuck with it um, it gets you in trouble sometimes when your knowing is strong. But when you don't doubt yourself, that's the best point your intuition can be. Yeah. Do not doubt it because when you do, you'll regret it. You know, the other day we went for a walk to the beach and I said to my daughter, put your thongs on, don't wear sneakers. And she's like, no, I want to wear sneakers. 
we got to the beach and she couldn't wear her sneakers home. And I said, that's the sort of thing you've got to start listening to. Or if you go out, you want to grab a cardigan, oh, I won't need it. Mm-hmm. You get out and you'll be cold. That's just, They're the subtle things that you need to start listening to and then it can grow from there. Um, but, look, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's, it's like blinking. It just can happen naturally once you start trusting it. Yeah. So I think you you start little by little. Um, yes. it, it has to be something that you build, like trust. When, when you meet somebody, you're not going to trust them straight away. You have to build up a relationship. So I think building up a relationship with your trust um, is, is a step. So Yes. Yeah. So, look, whether you're at a fork in the road or just not wondering, you know, wondering what to do, trying to hear that inner wisdom, um, get out of its way and trust it. Are you listening? Are you listening to it? That is a big key factor. You've got to listen. Turn off the noise, the white noise. Can you feel it? Put your hand on your heart. And you can. If you're really contemplating a big decision, and I did this with a lady today actually, you know, try to decide which job to take. She had all these job offers coming her way. And I said, you have, I can tell you which one it is because I can see it, but I want you to feel it and then I'll confirm it for you. So I made her put her hand on her heart mm -hmm. and her gut and take a breath. And I said, which one feels right? And she already knew. So sometimes it's just that subtle reminder that you need to be given to make the choice, to because make the right choice. It might not make sense in your brain. Well, sometimes you can overwhelm yourself mm. Mm. with confusion. And, and she was literally on a roundabout and she was playing tennis with herself going, do I go left, do I go right? And I said, you're playing tennis here. I said, I'm going to take that tennis ball out of the equation and let you decide whether you want to turn left or right without that tennis ball confusing you. Because both options are good, right? But which one's the right one? You know, and that's where intuition comes in. You need to trust yourself. Mm. I can tell you, I can guide you, and we can rule out and eliminate the risk. But at the end of the day, you have to decide. Yeah. It's up to you because it's your life. Mm. It's your path. And I don't tell people, oh, look, you know, you need to break up with that person. I don't tell people to stay in relationships, change relationships, go with that person. I tell you what will happen if you go with that person. And I'll tell you what will happen if you go with that person. But you need to feel for yourself what's right at the end of the day. You've got intuition. You may as well start using it. Because a lot of the times we make decisions off memories, okay, of what we've done before and what we've done before yep. and what we know. But it's those, those little things. So we were talking the other day, and it happens to me in the shower. Like I will just have like, boom, love that. Let's do yep. it now. Yeah. You get yours hanging out the washing. Yes. as well as other ways. constantly you're just mindful you know you, you're being mindful is key um you know when you're not trying forcing yes. a decision forcing that what is it what is it i want to know you can't force anything you just have to be um so look there's lots of different ways you can use your intuition and i've got a top 10 here for you all to take away and start practicing bit by bit um, and please feel free to take away what serves you and what doesn't serve you. Some may, some may not. Um, but things do block our intuition. And, th and that's the benefit of these top 10. You can go, well, why can't I, you know, make this yeah. decision? So Mel's asked, why do we sometimes go against what we know is right? Because you're in fear. You fear. fear. A lot of the words that I say tonight are going to be repeated. And fear is one of them. Fear is a massive block, but what if? What if it doesn't work? Mm. You know, well, what if it does? Mm. You know, I have a beautiful saying, but what if, what if I fall? You know, jump off the cliff, that saying, just jump. And people say, but what if I fall? And then the angel comes past and says, but what if you fly, darling? Yeah. What if you fly? I remember all of the times that I picture <laughs> myself on a bridge or on a cliff and just jumping and just trusting that I will just be caught. Yes. And that things will just work out. I remember yeah. each time. So people come to me for sessions, for healing sessions, and I never know what it's going to be about. Even if they say, I need this, I'm like, okay, well, that's nice. Come and see me and we'll see what, 
you need. <laughs> so I never know what's going to happen in a session. I just trust mm -hmm. every single time. And there's been times when I've been working with someone and thinking, oh, I don't think I can help this person. Mm -hmm. Are they above, you know, my capabilities? And then I come back to trust and it always pans out every time. And it's always what you need, by the way. Yes. So sometimes you, you'll get what you want, but mostly you'll get what you need. Yeah, so really like tuning in to what you, aligns with you, yes. right? What feel, What is the right thing to do by you? Yes. Yeah. It's out of our hands. That's why my business is called In Our Hands. Yeah, In Our Hands. Because it's in their hands, actually. All right, so you're going to run us through. Grab your pen and paper. Yes. Do you want to take some notes? Awesome. Okay, so... There's 10 ways you can start using your intuition. Well, tips that can help you tune into your own intuition. One of the first things you need to do is breathe. If you're holding your breath, you're tight. And almost every session I have to ask people to take a breath because their energy is too tight for me. It's hard to explain that, um, but I just feel it. And that's that knowing I was telling you about. I trust it. And so I will say, okay, I can't breathe. Therefore, you're not breathing. So ta everyone takes some breaths and you'll start to feel more relaxed. And use that, use that. How, what mm -hmm. do you say about breathing out? What does that release, Chelsea? Lots of fat, okay. toxins. Let me breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Have some fat. The more you breathe, the, the more, more can come in for you. So it, re it relaxes you and it calms your energy down. You will hear and feel more when you breathe properly and breathe well. Okay, the second thing, so first thing is breathe. The second thing is listen. Mm. There's power in silence. Mm. But I've been listening for a whole 30 seconds and nothing's come through. Don't <laughs> Stop trying so hard <laughs> and don't be impatient. Uh -huh. <laughs> so just be. How good would it be to have a pill that would give you patience? You'd be a terrible doctor. <laughs> You'd have no patience. <laughs> <laughs> okay so first things breathe second thing is listen just listen there's a lot of peace in that quietness when you just listen and my key thing that I've said a hundred times already I'm sure is trust it is definitely the most important part of intuition mm. if you don't trust you'll never connect your intuition because you'll doubt it and and like you know um, Mel said why do we go against it? Because we're not trusting it. So trust is very important. And I'll give you another example of that. I'll be at the supermarket and I'm so tuned in. I'll give you another example of that. I'll be at the supermarket. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> That's never happened before. <laughs> so I'm so tuned into my intuition. When I'm at the supermarket, I've got my shopping list my head will physically turn to an item that I need, but I won't have it on my list and I'll ignore it. I'll be like, oh, it's not on my list. I don't need it. But I'll keep looking at it <laughs> as I walk past and I don't buy it and I get home and I'll be like, what did I need? I needed those onions. I should have bought them. So that's a simple example. It can be that simple. All right. So don't ever ignore your subtle feelings because that's, that's your intuition telling you. Um, all right, it's like a little friend in the fridge. It's always there when you uh, open onions, the door. Uh, onions on your hair test? Yes, but I make things for other people. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. Onions are on nearly everyone's hair test. Yeah, it's probably a bad example. I probably should have said bananas. Leek. Leek, yeah. All right, number four. So first we've got breathe, listen and trust. Number four, practice solitude. It's okay to be in your own company. Connect to yourself, be present, be aware, less distractions, silence, less craziness. Mm. It's just get out of the noise of everyday life. How good do you feel when you're in solitude? Yeah, you just retreat for a little while, right? You just retreat, take a breath, you know, have your, have your cup of tea, do some self-care, you know, all of, you know, those things where, where the noise, when you get off your phone, Definitely get off your phone. Yeah. You won't connect to your intuition like Siri. Yeah. 
so meditation like all the studies that have been done on on meditation yes all right so number five mindfulness pay attention to how you feel so that's in being in present as well but it's also being mindful and mindful of how you actually feel and as you just said chelsea meditate Mm. is part of mindfulness so be quiet being grounded is also key um, and centered it helps you to um, become more aware and more present and being present is part of intuition because if you're off with the fairies or your head's full um, you're not going to understand what your intuition is trying to tell you because you're too in your head which brings me to point six be observant so pay attention mm. sometimes i'll ask for a sign yes and it'll physically be a sign mm. on a road yes I think that's one thing that people, the ladies can take away tonight is start looking for a sign. Yeah. So pick something. Yeah. Like I know some people will say, okay, show me a dragonfly. Or uh, like with me, I love the one, 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 one. So I was going to say numbers next. Yeah, yeah. numbers. Yeah. Numbers in unison. You will see it on signs. You'll see it on um, number plates. You'll see the time. I'll tell you something now about the numbers in unison. It's a message to calm you down and tell you you're okay. Yep mostly yep it's got me through like yes i can be like going or out of my mind and then i will see that it's 11 11 yes or uh, something and i'll go oh, i'm okay so one 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 belinda is be very positive about the words you're using choose very positive words so that's one by times of by four 11 11 means be really positive about the words you're putting out there. Mm. 444 is all the angels are supporting you and around you. There's lots of different numbers. We can go into that another day. I saw 444 today. So did I. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I said it. Oh, Lisa just said hers are 444. Yay, 444 is beautiful. It's my favourite number. And I bought a car once and the number plate was 444. Before I even knew what 444 meant, I just knew. I got an offer on a house and it was 11 at 1111, so I just took it. Wow. Um, a lady gave me a quote for to doing something and I didn't even because the price she gave me was $1,111 oh, no so I just paid it wow because it was the numbers so that's trusting yeah that's trusting yeah so ask for signs and you can ask for signs in any way form whatever it needs to be um, and when I say pay attention as well be observant it's also coincidences pay attention to mm. those so like you might think of someone literally think of someone i have esp too so it's very it is very strong for me if you think of someone and they text you it's like you need to see that person or you need to connect with that person that's following that kind of intuition so trusting those little signs that those coincidences aren't coincidences or if you bump into someone randomly at the shops or Mm. you know in clinic like we did yesterday if you bump into people you're meant to see them there's a reason Listen to your body is number seven. Listen to your body. And this is something that trips you up a bit because you will, I can ring you and go, oh, you know, my my shoulder's really sore. No, I can ring you and you'll say, is your shoulder sore? (laughs) And I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I've been carrying it all day. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one thing that, you know, for me to be honest with you, um, you can, I can send somebody give out your number and send somebody to you and you say oh Chelsea you know how you sent um you know Tracy like I was feeling really crook in the guts like even the day before she even rang and this is what's going on with her so you please help her she needs this to help her and I'll tell her you need this whatever it is it's just instinct yeah but how much you take on like this is <sighs> you you take on you feel in your body um, like some of the headaches that you've had and I don't want to put people off from contacting you but you really it's part of it yeah it's part of you really take you you, you do you, you take you, you take can't it hide from me because no. <laughs> you know like I'll be talking to someone and I'll, I'll bring something up I won't use examples because of confidentiality but I'll, I'll they'll bring some I'll bring something up and I'll go oh, can't hide from you like my healing room is like the truth room it just comes yeah. up because you're not supposed to be holding on to it yeah this the, the angels are very clever with helping you release stuff so they'll tell me to tell you to help you to release it to get it out of your body 
So you need to start listening to your body. That's part of helping you with your intuition as well. Um, so heed your gut feeling. And, and if you think, oh, I knew something wasn't right about that, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. That's your gut feeling that I'm talking about. So feel it physically, feel it, and don't ignore it. It's called our second brain for a reason. Yeah. It's pretty big. Mm. It tells us everything. It drives us. And gut health plays a big part, which I'll talk about in a minute. Gut health plays a massive part. And why and what happens if you're not using your intuition can really affect your health as well, which is not weird, not crazy that we're connected, but it is connected, right? Yeah. Unbelievable. Blows me away. It never surprises me, but it blows me away every time when I see these synchronicities come through. Right. Healing, number eight. Have some healing. Declutter your heads. Get rid of what's sitting in your energy field that you do not need. You just don't need it. Old stuff, it's back there. It's in the past for a reason. You don't need it. Ever notice that your rear vision mirror is smaller than your windscreen? Because you need to focus on what's up that way, not back there. Sorry if you can't see my finger. <laughs> I'm off centre. I need to be centred, Chelsea. Yeah, I feel like I'm crooked too. <laughs> Sorry, I'll turn around that way. It's okay. Excellent. Um, so declutter your headspace, your energy field, get rid of any draining sources because that's going to make you feel lopsided. Yeah, which is what we'll do in the group call. Yeah, yes. Cut all of those people yes. away. No more draining. It's like someone puts a milkshake into your milkshake, a straw into your milkshake and starts drinking it from you. That's your energy. We've got to cut those straws. Um, have a break from Wi-Fi. We already said that, but it's part of the heal energy hearing, energy clearing. Um, and connect to your own Wi-Fi called source. Yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah. Because everyone has their own awesome source. Every single one of us has the ability to connect to source, but you need to trust it. Yeah. And use it for good, not evil. So no cauldrons on the 31st of October. <laughs> number 10. Oh, no, number nine. Sorry, I nearly skipped one. Relax. <sighs> Good reminder, Chelsea. Relax. Let go of anger. It's a massive block to using your intuition. Negative emotions cloud intuition, unfortunately. They just do. Um, so, you know, if, if you're not, if you're holding on to stuff, you're going to be thinking about that. You're not going to be thinking about little signs that you're getting or seeing signs or feeling signs. Yeah, creating. You're not going to be mm. like bringing all the good stuff in yes. when you're stuck on that, like, yes. that low vibration. Yep, that's exactly it. Um, so there was another point I wanted to make there. I just can't remember what it was, but it might come up in a minute. Um, yeah, so negative emotions cloud your intuition and you know when you're out of sorts, don't you? You just yeah. do. You just get so used to it though. Yeah. You know, but how sad is that? When you're in a heightened emotional state, it means you're disconnected from yourself, which is, you know, mm. if you can't be connected to yourself, who can you be connected to? Yeah, yeah, and it's okay to be connected. So, and it's okay to, when you're disconnected to reach out and, actually, and own it. But disconnecting is also a good thing. Yeah. It can be a good thing if you're disconnecting in the right way, which is what I said earlier about, you know, solitude and finding that peace. I have to disconnect sometimes. Sometimes I have to leave the state to disconnect, which I can't really do at the moment, but I literally have to close the door and disconnect and no one knows where I am and it's great. It's like my Wi-Fi is disconnected. <laughs> All right, number 10, exercise and eat well. What happens when you exercise, Chelsea? Yes, you feel great. You add in the well, outside yeah. if you can. Add it, yeah, outside of the sun. Um, yeah, breathing fresh air, but just moving your body, the endorphins. Yeah, you feel so much better once you've done it. I think because you start, you make a commitment. I'm going. I'm going to do that. And then once you start doing it, after you've done it, you never feel bad after you do. No, you never feel bad. You never after, regret it. You never you, regret your exercise unless you do you know, 100 squats the next day you do. Like my legs are going to be sore tomorrow. Yes. I had to march for two minutes today. I'm going to feel that. <laughs> yeah, so 
this this week is exercise week in body wisdom so all of our body wisdom girls have to we're at we're being accountable and i'm kicking butt and we're all exercising um this week in um in body wisdom so yeah moving moving your body you feel so much better you, how does lymphatic move around your body <sighs> breathing you know movement you have to move there is no excuses not to um not to move your body yes so yeah no one regrets exercise how good body wisdom by the way <laughs> Our girls are amazing. How good is it? Seriously. I'm so lucky and I love being part of it. But it's just so supportive and um, motivating. Helps keep me on track and helps motivate me to eat well and exercise. I just don't put videos up because of, you know, I've got to get more confident in my active wear. <laughs> but look at you now. Like, yes, you, you're smashing it. Oh, look, I exercise today and that's what I'm saying. It does, it makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. So exercise, eat well, that's important because how can you be clear if your body's filled with toxins and sludge? You can't, it's impossible. So the benefits that come from exercise, good nutrition, it helps clear your mind thoughts and helps your vibration. We all vibrate. So in order to lift your vibration, these are all the sorts of things you need to do. So that's my top 10. Run over just the, the top, run over them again. Breathe. Breathe. Listen. Listen. Trust. Trust. T-R-U-S-T. Trust. Practice solitude, mindfulness, be observant, listen to your body, healing, relax, and exercise slash eat well. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Any questions around yes, any of that? Yes, any questions for that, ladies? That's how I get out of bed every morning. It's my mantra. Yes. Get up and I'll feel better. Yes. Absolutely die. Yes, outside in nature is the best. Nature is healing too, by the way. You can ask the elementals in nature to help. If you're feeling crappy and you're exercising, you can just, as you're walking around, ask the elementals in nature to help you. And that's the thing, like, when when I'm having a session with you, you're like, okay, we'll ask a, Archangel Michael. Let's ask Raphael. Yeah. Let's ask, and but you don't even have to know their names. You can say, hey, Angel. Yes. So don't think you have to know like all of this stuff mm -hmm. to get started. All of the words and all the things you don't. You can just go, hey, Angel. So because they're waiting, they're waiting to, for you to give them a job. They to are. Do. They're standing around at your service. I'll tell you a good tip about that. If you want to build trust on asking for help, car park. Ask for a car park when you go somewhere. Yes. I'll go somewhere and I'll be, you know, my daughter in the back asking me for things and I'll forget to ask and I'll get to the supermarket or the shopping centre I'll be like, oh, I can't get a park. And I go, oh, Angel, sorry, I forgot to ask. Next trip around, there's a car park. So thank you, Angels, for a car space. That's a simple one. Eunice? The, the three ladies at the um, at the top who asked to join us in the in the Zoom, can you please give them the or can you pop in the the link for for Zoom, please? Yep, let's go. So while um, we're getting three, yep. So as I mentioned earlier, it can affect your health if you don't listen to your intuition. Eventually, all of those things that I spoke about before letting go of negative emotions, it can all build up in your body. And I'm a big Louise Hay follower. I yes. do her work. Uh, I love, I've, met, I've been to see her live. Oh, my gosh, it was amazing. So I follow her to the letter with as much as I can. Um, and just a few things that I've pulled out from her, um, her Bible, I call it. Mm -hmm. If you are using your intuition, you can, the following conditions can show up in your body. And I'm sure, you know, we've all had these at one stage of our lives or another. Candida, anger over making the wrong decisions. Mm -hmm. Indigestion. Candida. Yeah. So candida. Did everybody do their spit test? No. I don't have candida because I follow my intuition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if, how have, have you all done your spit test? You, let me know because did your spit go on the top, in the middle or on the bottom to check for candida? Mine went in the middle ish. Millish. Yeah, if you have candida, then everything is going to be really hard. 
um, for you. Losing weight will be hard, making decisions, getting rid of brain fog. We have to clean out the gut. Use your intuition. You won't yeah. be able to. Yeah. Okay. So we have to, um, and that's why we do the ultimate fiber and the and the vita cleanse. Okay. So Powerful. have a look at our good gut protocol to kill that candida and put it back in its place where it belongs. It's not as scary as it seems, actually. That yes, Michelle. Um, Michelle, if you can, Eunice, if you can give Michelle the link, please. Just pop it in here. Okay. So if you have candida, the reason is anger over making the wrong decisions, not trusting yourself. So say this to yourself, the affirmation to help you with this alongside the Vita Cleanse and the Ultimate Fibre. I lovingly accept my decisions knowing I'm free to change. I am safe. There's that word safe. Safe equals trust equals being able to use intuition. Indigestion is gut level fear. All of these are related to gut, dread and anxiety. So I digest and assimilate all new experiences peacefully and joyfully. That is the affirmation if you have indigestion issues. Is this solar plexus? Is that what that is yes. around that area? Yep, indigestion, your gut, not trusting, not using your power for good. Diarrhea is fear, rejection, not listening. The affirmation, my intake, assimilation and elimination are in perfect order. I'm at peace with life. Peace, there's that word. Trusting, again, you need to trust. Heartburn, I like her um, definition of this one, the cause of heartburn. Fear, 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 it's all fear. Yeah, we need to, We if if everyone can yet yeah, just try to raise their vibration a little bit and just get a little bit into trust and let go of the fear because most of the things, if you have a meeting with your brain, with your, um, you, and most of the things that you're scared about aren't going to happen. How many percent? Fear is not real. Fear is made up. Yeah. It's an unreal emotion, actually. It's just there. It's not going to do anything except create these issues, <laughs> you know. Um, I breathe freely and fully. I am safe for heartburn. The next one is gas pains, gripping fear, undigested ideas. I relax and let life flow. There's your word. Flow, baby. Flow through me with ease. Thank you, Louise. Gastritis, prolonged uncertainty, a feeling of doom. So that's that hopelessness and dread and not trusting again. I love and approve of myself. I am safe. Safe. Yes. Trust. This is a big one because this is a massive block for using your intuition. Constipation. Refusing to release old ideas, being stuck in the past, way back there. Remember the rear vision mirror? It's back there for a reason. You don't need it anymore. Yeah, refusing to release old ideas stuck in the past. So constipation is a big one. Mm. And that ultimate fibre. There is no such thing as constipation when you have ultimate fibre. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's very helpful for that. So always connecting to your intuition, by the way. Mm. As I release the past, the new and fresh and vital enter. I allow life to flow through me and the last one that I've picked up just these were just the top eight that I picked out of her book for tonight cramps for people who get cramps tension and fear I relax and allow my mind to be peaceful mm. there's a lot of peace in all of those affirmations yes. affirmations are amazing for reassurance so yeah, put them, put them on your phone, put them on the fridge, like any one of those affirmations that like see the numbers because at this time with everything that's going on, we need all the signs that we can get. I will type this up. Okay. And give it to Chelsea yep. to pop in the group. Okay. For anyone that needs to refer back to it, just to be helpful, might help people out. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's really, um, it's important when you're having those dramas. Yeah. Just to be to reminded. Help. Yeah. Yeah. And use affirmations as well. Okie dokie. We know more people in Zoom. Oh, we've got some. They're in yes. there. Yes. Ooh. Okay. This is my favourite part. Helping people release. Michelle, I didn't, you, you're not in, in there, darling. 
Okay, so Tracy, let's let's say hello to Tracy. Okay, admit. Um, no one misses out on my watch, by the way. So if you're meant to get a message from me, okay, Michelle Michelle made it in. Okay, you'll get it. Okay, so here's we'll let um, Tracy in first. Tracy was first, wasn't she? Yes. And Tracy, yes, I was yes. very drawn yeah. to Tracy from the beginning. So yes. Tracy, oh, she's in the dark. Trace, turn your mic on. So when I saw Tracy's messages come up, I was very drawn to her. So sometimes you, it just stands out for me, like there's a light shining and I have okay. to read for that person. Um, we need to ask Tracy. Oh, oh, she is. Hi. For me, like there's a light shining and I have okay. to read for that person. Um, we're behind. Ask Tracy. Oh, oh she is. Hi. For me, like there's a light shining and I have okay. to read for that person. Um, I don't know who that is. We've oh, only got you and me in here. Uh, I don't know who that is. That is that me? There's a replay. You and me in. Here. Oh, have you got? Can you turn your um your phone? Yeah, the other. I don't know who that is. That is. Me? How's that? That's better. Mm. Now we've got you, Trace. Hello. Hi, Trace. The other. I don't know who that is. That is me? Oh, the Facebook. Yeah, How's turn that? the Facebook off. Now we've got you, Trace. Hello. It's lovely to meet you, Tracy. Oh, the Facebook. Yeah, turn the Facebook off. All right. Now we've got you, Trace. Lovely to meet you, Tracy. <laughs> we'll get there, hey? We got there, I think. Yes. All right, Tracy, I've got some cards here to talk to you about. How about your trust? How about uh, your fear? Probably... Um, just waned a little bit. Normally, it's been pretty good. Kept me okay. Because all of the cards that I've pulled for you here are telling me that you're not trusting. Yeah, and it probably took a knot. And you're the first person that I, we should read. And I was very drawn to grab your energy and help you. Oh, so thank, thank you. you for trusting and putting all those posts up. So the first card is the base chakra card. So it's telling me there's a little bit of negativity going on up here at the moment. So there's something that's happened to you that's caused you to go into that negative downward spiral. Yeah. And it's constantly in your head. I could just go in there and pluck it out. Yeah. Well, I've been working on it for a couple of years. Okay. So when you're feeling negative, and so just anyone who hasn't seen me read before, I'm not doubting what I'm getting for Tracy. So I just know what I've got to tell you. So I'm really trusting that what I'm feeling, and it's coming from my gut, what I'm feeling for you is that you need to let go of that negativity. There's a there's something that's happened in your world that you're holding on to and it's in your head and you think about it and you go back and you think about it again. Do you know what that is? You don't have oh, to say yeah. Oh, you don't know exactly what it is. but You've got to let um, it go because that is that is not good for you. You've got to let it go. Yeah, I'll, and I've made a lot of progress and I get frustrated because I think I'm doing okay and it's back and I'm like... There you go. So you haven't actually let it go and you haven't brought the forgiveness in. You need to forgive, I'm hearing. So bring that forgiveness in and compassion is where that forgiveness will come for the situation. Can you, okay. feel, the peace? Can you feel the peace in that? Yeah, and the voice changes as the energy changes. So already I can feel peace coming in for you. And I think it's relief, actually. Oh, more than likely. Can. Knowing that you can let it go, there's relief for you. Yeah. Hopefully you won't get constipated. <laughs> it all comes back. <laughs> all right, speaking of, the vegetarian vegan cards come in. So this is just a sign to pay attention to what you're putting in doesn't have you don't have to be a vegetarian or a vegan it just means the color in the vegetarian vegan rainbow is very good for your energy it really serves you and helps you to lift your vibration yes that you yep yep that's yep. i've been trying to increase the um colors that i'm eating yes. so yeah spot on yes perfect um so when you let go of this the fear, you've got lots of fear in your energy, that will dissipate. 
So that negative situation that is circling around in here like a fish in a fishbowl. Yep. And it goes to the back of your mind, then it comes to the front of your mind. It comes to the back of your mind, you forget about it, it comes to the front of your mind. It's like, oh, here it is again. That's bringing fear into your world. Yeah. And causing you not to trust. And when you're not trusting, you're not, you're not feeling too safe. So the shield yourself cards here, which means, you know, you're vulnerable and you're feeling, um, you know, that situations coming into your life aren't what you're asking for. Yeah. You, you could be potentially attracting situations that aren't right for you. Okay. So can you see, can everyone see here tonight how important trust is? Because it does affect all areas of our lives, physically, mentally and emotionally and spiritually. But just bring, what I'm hearing for you the most is bring that compassion in, bring the forgiveness in and let go of that negativity. If you can't forgive, you don't have to forgive someone's behaviour, but just be willing to try to forgive for now. That's enough. Okay. And that will get the momentum rolling for the forgiveness to come in. Okay, great. I'll just do a quick affirmation for you. You've got to keep me on track of time, Jesse, because yes. otherwise, yeah, the angels will keep me going. <laughs> I know, we, we've set up late. <laughs> right. Freedom is my divine right. These are Louise Hay affirmation cards. Yes. I love them. I'm free to think wonderful thoughts. Mm-hmm. Hey? How's, no. how's that for a mirror right now? <laughs> I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I'm created to be. Oh, I like that. I've got goosies. It's never too late to be who you want to be. Ever. That's lovely. Thank you. Put your hands on your heart. Receive all that love and peace. Beautiful. Forgiveness is coming into you now. So just let go bit by bit. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. It was lovely. Thank you. See you, Trace. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. okay so now we've got Michelle. She's been coming in and out. Let, hopefully her video, we can turn her video on, ask to unmute more michelle is it working for you babe if not um we can do yours because michelle yeah. yeah michelle's in our body wisdom um group no it's not working michelle are you there yay, yay. okay you're on mute, you're on mute. You made it unmute yourself yeah, i'm gonna unmute you yes i'm on mute yep Yes. Hi, Michelle. So you're new to Body Wisdom. Yes. So I haven't read for you yet. That's awesome. So you don't miss out. That's great. Okay. Awesome. Yes, I am. Are you ready? Oh. 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 Are you still there? Yep. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> there are lots and lots of positive. Um, Changes coming in for you. Oh, it's been huge changes happening in the last six months. Yeah, so you've already got the momentum rolling. Mm -hmm. Are you starting to doubt it? Um, a little. Yes, get back on the momentum because it was going really well. Oh, okay. Well, I did a huge move. I moved from Victoria to Queensland. Oh, uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I've only been welcome. here. I've just moved into this, this house. Five months ago. Okay. So what are you doubting now? <sighs> you put something out into the universe because I've got the cancel, clear, delete card. You put something out there that we need to cancel. Oh. About what's happening on your path. Um, You're not doubting the move, surely. No, no, definitely not. Um, probably I mean? my because ability. already started. Yeah. Probably... Um, just me, doubting me, whether I okay. could actually do it. Okay. Well, have you done it? Um, I'm working on it. <laughs> You've done it. You're here. Oh, yeah. You got over the border. That's pretty mammoth. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was a fluke. So that's the biggest 
biggest hurdle. So now yeah. you're here, you've got to start trusting why you're here. Um, I think just the fear of, um, I do have fear. Mm. Um, I have done lots of work on myself, um, but I feel so light now. Okay. So start trust, just start thanking yourself for, for being yeah. brave. Mm -hmm. It's a mass, you've got a lot of stress in your energy. Even yeah. though you've achieved it and you've done it. Sorry if you're getting emotional, I can feel it coming up in my throat. See, yeah, actually, if I had that, <coughs> I've got this big <coughs> thing going on. That's emotion. So it's blocked mm. in here. It needs to come out and you'll have a big cry at some point. Okay. The reason you're here is because you've got, you've got different people to help now and different people to meet because you are an earth angel. Oh. So you're like an angel that's been plucked from heaven and put on earth when you were born. So you're here to help other people. And you don't go through anything in life without being able to help others. She's a healer. Oh, I didn't know that. No. <laughs> See, I don't know anything about anybody no. until I meet them. And I didn't, I wasn't planning to go back to work. I was, I left situation. <sighs> Good. I left. Get it out. Get it out. I've, Breathe. Most, I've had a big stressful life. Yes. Um, I can feel it. I can feel it. The last 20 years have been huge. Yeah. And then the biggest one has been the last five years. Mm. And then it was, I had made a big move down from one side of Australia to the other, which I was in Geelong. You've made and Geelong food. felt Geelong felt it served me no more. Mm -hmm. So I packed the dog and I up and drove to Queensland. That's called listening to your intuition. And I felt I had lost it. But in between all those years, you know, I, I got I doubted myself, got involved in a, a church and different things, told it was all of the devil and Everything I believed in was wrong. And now I'm just trying to find my feet again. Okay. And then I decided I don't need any more of this, but I I probably would share it with Chelsea tomorrow. But um, I know I'm here for a reason. You really are. You're definitely here for a reason. Oh, my gosh. So you just, just confirmed everything. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Mm. I want to hug you. I want to hug Chelsea to hug you. Oh. Oh. Thank God you're here. Yep. So be um, proud of yourself. I just didn't you know what I was here for. And you know what? Those people that told you it's wrong, they have their beliefs and that's okay. Mm. Everyone's entitled to have beliefs. But you, I've been told the same thing, but you just need to trust it. I've had too many beautiful experiences um, like this. To doubt this is not from anything but good okay how can yeah. you feeling be feeling good about yourself be from not from the light the light is here I to think bring I've good. doubted that i i because i don't. wanted to know why i didn't where's my angels everyone talks about their angels and i'm going where's mine <laughs> i've had too many experiences for it to be of any other energy but of the light so you just need to trust yourself okay. and own what you do because you're here to serve and give others the gift of um, healing if that's what it is you choose to do. Hmm. Okay. I know what I have to do. Thank you for your vulnerability because it shows us all that we need to trust. And it's okay to be vulnerable. There's safety in vulnerability because it's a gift to others when you're vulnerable. Look out, everyone's compassionate for you. I gave Chelsea a hug. <gasps> Wait till you see the card. Like I said, it's surprise. It never said, what did I say? It never surprises me, but it blows me away every time. My healing is already in progress. Oh my gosh. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. 
Lots of love, lots of hugs. I'll take a photo of that. Thank you so much for your time and your and trusting me. Just like everyone here, thank you for trusting me because, like mm -hmm. I said, it means a lot to me. <laughs> it means more to me than anyone here will ever know. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, these group, these groups of women. Um, like we started off this group just to teach people how to pop their cork and use the gloves, mm -hmm. and now look what we're doing, right? You know, we're, we're all connecting, we're sharing, um, you know, and changing and growing. You're safe. Tell yourself that. I'm safe. I tell myself that a lot. Yeah. You better connect with me, I think. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a session. I think you need to connect. So there's too much sitting in there. And I'll see you tomorrow, Michelle. Sorry? I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Yes, you Maybe will. Maybe come see me after Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I will be doing a drive down to you guys. You <laughs> will about, be. It's only about seven hours, I think, so it's not too bad. Because yeah, Di, Di just drove down. Um, From Rockhampton? Yep. Yeah. I Well, I noticed that. And I went, well, if she, well my daughter's at Amberley, so, um, yeah. So I went, well, that's sort of like a five-hour drive, or just over five hours. And I went, oh, you guys just a little bit further down. I can do that. Yeah, hop, skip. I, so hop, I can skip. drive from one side of Australia to the other. I can That's do that. It. <laughs> Come down with us. All right, we've got to get on to Lots the next one. Michelle. Michelle. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye. Oh, my pleasure. Um, Sally, let's get oh, Sally. How do I get out of this? Um, Michelle, have you got the but leave button? Yeah, she's she's done. So we've got. Sally, Kim, and Vanessa. Oh, we're doing five. We're doing five. Oh, They've been waiting. <laughs> See what happens. We've gone over time. So, hello, Sally. Mind? Hi, Sally. How are you? Okay, Sal, I just need you to unmute, I think. My cards just went flying trying to shuffle for you, Sally. So that tells me um, that connecting to audio, you probably need a little bit of grounding at the moment. <laughs> All my cards are upside down and <laughs> they've just gone everywhere. I can't, I don't even know what's what here. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Awesome. <laughs> Did you hear what I said about my cards? They're out of whack. They're all over the shop. <laughs> are you confused? No. <laughs> okay. What's all out? What's all out of whack for you? Um, your heart. Yeah, yeah. My heart, and I guess I have no trust or lacking trust. Yeah. Just want to chuck them away. She's nailed it anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's nailed it. She's nailed you already. Come back to come back to who you are. Yeah. You've got to come back to what makes you happy and what you're here to do you need to find your purpose and that's what i've been struggling with okay so that's what i was picking up the cards aren't even working they're not doing anything i've never had that and i've never oh, wow. had that happen before ever yeah. so just trust that you are very important you are very special can you tell yourself that please i'm very special yeah and you're here for a reason okay so put your hand on your heart as well and ask who needs me where do you want me guys mm -hmm. what have i got to offer the world you've been born for good reason and the fact that you're born means that you're important yeah so trust mm -hmm. that and come back to how you can help when you come back to how you can help, yeah. you will never fail. When you come back to who can I, who needs me, mm -hmm. you will never fail because good intentions are the key to success. Helping others is the key to success. Okay. As long as it's done genuinely, yeah. and good intention. You need clearing. So I've just done one card for you. So you're foggy. You're all fogged up. Yep. So you can go out and ground yourself in nature. Yep. 
Um, where, where do you live, Sally? Uh, oh, just in, on the ACT. Oh, so you can't go swimming in the ocean, the ACT. It's a little bit cold, isn't it? <laughs> no, but I can walk outside. And... There's lots of things you can do to clean your energy um, using essential oils. There's lots of different... You've got some things on your page from me, haven't you? About I need body wisdom. Ah, right. But okay. we'll share We'll share that into boob camp. We'll share your, your video into yeah. boob camp. Yeah, okay. Or I can put some tips in this when I type yeah. it up, okay? How yeah. to cleanse your energy so you do feel clearer. Um, and and come back to that trust. Oh, I've got it. It's another lamp flew out. <laughs> oh, I always love these cards. I express my creativity. That's so whatever you're here to do, you need to use your creativity to get out your you're frustrated. You can feel it yep. now. Come yep. in. <laughs> yeah. Were well, you a bit scared of me reading you? Was yeah, yeah. But you got I'm... in. You got in. So I know. You be too scared. If you were too scared, you wouldn't have got in. <laughs> My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. Wow. So you will be in, yeah. How good is this one for you? Yeah, I love it. I'll take a photo and put yeah, it in. Yeah, thanks, Chelsea. So just come back to who you are and what you are here to do and who yep. needs you and where do they want you. Yeah. I think you've just, boredom has stifled you. Would that be right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I never like to, to, sometimes the truth isn't always pretty and sometimes I struggle when the angels tell me something I hide. <laughs> I literally get my shirt. I don't want to. I don't want to say that because I don't want anyone feeling bad. But it's not a bad thing. It's about bringing you into your joy and where you need to be. It's about awareness and believing in yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Believe that you're important and special. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. Look at the change so already. Yeah. The smile. Yeah. Yay. Oh. So lovely. Thank you, Sally. Thanks, Sal. Thank you. And we've got Kim. Last one because then I've got to go and pick up Cohen from basketball. Sorry, Chelsea. No, no, no. We're good. The angels want too many people to get some messages. Alrighty, oh, Kim. I Come can't on see in, you, Kim. I can't hear you and I can't see you yet. Ask to unmute. More. Ask to start video. I'm trying. Here Yay! You Hello. Hello. Can I only see your eyes though. I'm um, down. <laughs> yes. Hello, Kim. Here we go. Woo. Hi. Nice to meet you, Kim. Nice to meet you both. Thank Hello. you for joining. Hey. <clears throat> I just started, I'm like, do I need a drink? No. And then the throat chakra card came out. You gotta start speaking up. Yep. You gotta fight for your right. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> talking like an American. <laughs> it just happens. I just I'm too I'm too um obedient. <laughs> they have their fun with me, I'm telling you. <laughs> They'd have me up dancing if they if they could. All right, so the throat chakra card has come up for you, which means you've got some blockages in here. <clears throat> and I started to feel it before I said it. So there's something you're holding back and you need to just start expressing how you feel and what you really think. So you don't talk about what you want to say. You just hold it in, you bottle it. You need to crack the cork. Pop that cork. <laughs> I've been hanging around you too long. <laughs> Pop the cork and let it out. <clears throat> Do you know what it is? I've got an idea, yeah. Yeah. Just And it's okay to speak your truth, everyone. It's okay because you can ask to speak your truth in grace mm. and, and it's okay and it's safe for you to speak your truth. It took me a long time to learn that. Mm. Yep. It's okay to speak your truth. It's critical. The next card for you is the solar plexus card, which means you need to come back into your own power and strength which will help you with your truth. Okay. 
And, and this is where safety comes in for you as well, feeling safe to be able to be powerful. Being powerful yeah. doesn't mean you have to be strong and have big biceps. Being powerful just means being true to yourself. And it's okay to say no, because that's honouring you. Yep. Do people take advantage of you sometimes? Um, sometimes, but I think I've, I've suppressed so much to get through that I'm finding it difficult to find myself. Rip off the Band-Aid, I just heard. <laughs> yep. Someone wants you to rip it off. Yep. If they use suppressed it all, they, they shouted, rip off the Band-Aid. So rip it off and enjoy it. Yep. It may not make other people feel great if they're taking advantage of you if you start speaking up, but you have to honour you because they aren't living your life. They're not on your path. Yeah. You're on your path. And uh, my body, everything's just stagnant. It's just so, I can feel it. It's just blocked. Okay. Well, you're in the right place. Yeah. You're yeah. In, yeah. I, said pop the I was cork. drawn to your side, so. I said pop the cork. So blockages are where these come in, right? Physical. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you need to, um, well, when I say pop the cork, I'm, obviously that means you need some work, physical work, but pop the cork in your throat too and start just slowly. If someone wants you to do something you're not comfortable doing, just say, oh, thank you, but it's okay. No, I can't at the moment or just say no and be okay with saying no. Okay. It's okay to say no if it's not. Don't do anything out of obligation. Mm -hmm. Because that causes resentment. If you do things because you have to, oh, better, it's the right thing to do. I better go and paint my neighbor's house because it's you know it's the right thing to do it's okay to say no yep and you're respecting yourself when you say no okay all right i'm just gonna do a positive affirmation because chelsea's got to go i'm really conscious of that i don't want her son to be waiting on the street everything i touch is a success yay how awesome is that card? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So don't doubt yourself. Yep. I now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. I love that. Mm -hmm. Call it in. That's going to help yep. you with the power too. Believe Beautiful. in oh, Chelsea's going to take a picture. I'll put a photo. I can't remember um, Tracy's first. Tracy was up first. I, I didn't get her card. What was your card, Tracy? Tracy, if you're still watching, can you tell us what your card um, was, please? How does that um, feel, Kim? Amazing. Thank you so much. So very with, well. With your thyroid, okay, just grab it and give it a wiggle. I wake it up, un unstick it. The grab, you can grab it, yeah, and give it a little bit of a wiggle. I'm also getting indigestion talking to you, Kim. Yeah. Indigestion. Yeah. Come back to that um, affirmation I said earlier. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. You're have, welcome. I'm just have a good night. Fun. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. For How listening. cool. All right. So let's um, do a little bit of a little bit of a sum up. Thank Radio. you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Thanks for having me. I've really enjoyed being here. Yeah. Um, and I'm really grateful that everyone came to listen because and I'm so sure important. I'm sure we'll be doing this again. I'm sure we will be um, doing this again. So um, recapping intuition. All of those things that Donna read through are things that we know that we should do, but we just forget. Yes. Okay, start reminding each other of, remind your friends, tell, tell your friends to say, oh, you know, remember to breathe. So share this, please. Share all of these things um, with, your, with your group to remind you because you forget, you get, you get off on a mission and you forget to do these things. So we will continue, Donna can jump in the group and continue to remind everybody to do that. 
Okay. And I'll po post all this in so everyone can have a, a little follow-up yep. with themselves. Book your appointment with Donna. So how that works is you can go onto her Facebook page. It's called In Our Hands. Send her a messenger um, text. Text. And then Donna, will you you'll call or you'll text yeah. and you'll arrange a um a time to to see everybody. Yes. You've got 30 minutes or 60 minutes, okay, to choose from. My times are quite tight, so I need to work my diary. So yeah. um, you can't make appointments online at this stage because my times are too tight. Yeah. So you have to have a call um or a text and Donna will will fit you in will book you in mm -hmm. and then we're all getting together everybody who does the session with Donna we're all doing a Halloween cord special cord cutting and that's free that's free and you will all get a healing in that yeah um for everybody who does the um the 30 or the 60 minute okay Woo! how Woo! awesome Okay. Thank you. Next Wednesday night. So that's the end of our three days. Okay. Next Wednesday night, we have Sean Pickering coming in. What? We have a man in boot camp. We, have, we only have like one man a year. Wow. Normally, yeah, normally it's Mark Porter talking about candida and worms and all that fun stuff He's and brave. all those big words. He's brave. Yeah. Um, Sean. Sean is coming in and he said... Chels, you know, what's something that you think that the girls will want to talk about? And I said, mm, they want to know how to manipulate their husbands to get whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to run through um, understanding masculinity and how to get your man to bring out his masculinity. Okay. Uh, plus whatever else comes up. So that is next Wednesday night. Um, if you have then got something that you want us to talk or if you have, like so many of you would have other um, health experts, other like gurus like Donna, if there's other people that um, you have in your life and you think like Chels, get them into boob camp, mm. hit me up. Please hit me up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll just keep on bringing all of this information um, and fun to you to get you to tune in to your body because you know what's what we say, what's your body trying to, to tell you? Um, Denise Barrett, if we ignore the gentle reminders for too long, the universe gives us a bitch slap. Called divine intervention. Yes. As mm. usual, ladies, thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so lots of lots of awesomeness and thank yous for through that thanks everyone for joining in and we will see you next wednesday night everyone on replay um you know super excited that you get to watch all of this too i will see you next month but i'll also be in touch like with donna and like we do talk behind the scenes she doesn't let me know all the bits and pieces but we do um come together with um with different people that we're both sharing, you know, as as clients. Okay, thank you. Lots of love. Thank yes. you, everybody. Bye. Everyone's up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. This is the bit that I get confused with because I go live. Stop live streaming. Yes.